Hi, I'm Stacy Beverly. And I'm Jeff Hostetler. And welcome to another edition of MemberLink. MemberLink is a program brought to you from your Kingsport Area Chamber of Commerce as an opportunity for our chamber members to spotlight their business. We got an exciting show today. We're going to be meeting with Knoxville TBA Employees Credit Union, A Team Real Estate, Interim Healthcare, and Omar Canvas and Awning. And now let's go to Jeff at the Knoxville TBA Credit Union. Today we are at Knoxville TBA Credit Union here in Kingsport. So let's go inside and see our, with our co-host, Stacy Beverly, and learn a little bit more about them. I'm here with Angie Davenport from the Knoxville TVA Credit Union, and she's going to tell us a little bit today about credit unions and choosing a financial institution, and also what the impact of joining her Kingsport Chamber has had on her business. So Angie, can you tell us a little bit about how one goes about picking a financial institution and, and what they need to look for? Sure. First off, you should, well, of course, I'm partial to credit unions because we are a credit union. Um, and you need to make sure they're safe, strong, and secure. Stability is a big thing. You should be looking for that. And to check a credit union out, you can go to the NCUA website and check out how, what their shareholdings are, how their, you know, how their assets are. Um, and when you get there, we've been in business for 75 years. We're almost 107,000 members strong. So we are a very strong credit union. No bailout money for us. Okay. Um, so uh, when you look for that and you need friendly staff and we want everyone who comes to be a member with us we want you to be our first choice for all your financial needs so whatever type of account it is you need we can help you with that. Very good. Now you mentioned stability um, that's one thing that the, the credit union here has has right now in this economy which is a, which yes, is a we have. big plus for people that are looking for a financial institution. So um, if you can tell us a little bit too, a lot of people may not know the difference between a credit union and a bank. So sure. could you explain that? Yeah. The difference between a credit union and a bank, a bank is owned by stockholders. And the stockholders end up getting the profits at the end of the year from all of that. Um, credit union is different. Credit union is owned by the members. When you put your $5 in your savings account with us, you actually own stock in us, own shares with us. And our board of directors is made up by shareholders. So in essence, you run the credit union. And all of uh, any profits that come out of that, 30% goes back to the members. Okay. That's so good. you end up getting paid um, back. Thank you also. Uh, Knoxville TVA Credit Union was one of our sponsors for the fourth Friday Small Business Month this past May, and we appreciate your uh, Thank you sponsoring for having us. that. Um, what are some other ways that the Kingsport Chamber has helped your business and, and other community events that you've been involved in? If you could just tell us a little bit about that. Oh, it's that. been great. Um, the Chamber has really gotten our name out there because everybody thinks we're in Knoxville. We're not. We're in Kingsport. <laughs> right on Stone Drive next to Lowe's and come see us. Um, but the chamber has been great because a lot of people didn't know where we were. They would say, you drive away from Knox every day. No, we don't. We are here. Uh, we're getting our name out there more. We've been involved with the Children's Miracle Network. We have had a lot of events to bring um, membership here. We've had membership drives. We gave away a $1,000 gift card not long ago. So That's wonderful. Different things we're doing. We've been in um, the schools. We've been doing several of... Um, career days, career fairs for the children in schools, the high school kids, let them know about accounts. We've done some educational seminars, things like that. Okay, can you tell us a little bit too about the vacation club? Yeah, if you want to save up for a vacation, you come in, we'll open you a vacation club account. You can put, you can have money, money automatically drafted from your paycheck to put in there. However you want, it's a savings account for you, it's an extra, so um, however you want to use that. Put your money in a little bit each time. If you even to put your change in out of your paycheck, hey, that starts adding up over time. Then you've got money saved up before you know it. Okay, very good. Good way to save. Very good. Now, if someone out there has a business and they're looking at joining the Kingsport Chamber, what advice would you give them on doing Join. That? It's a great, great tool, great communication tool, great networking tool, great all around. I've loved the Chamber. It's been great. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now we're going to go talk to another one of our members from the A-Team Real Estate Professionals. Jeff? Thank you, Stacy. Uh, we're here with Mike Baird from A-Team Real Estate showcasing and uh, showing one of these beautiful homes that they represent. And uh, Mike, I'll we'll, uh, ask you a little bit about uh, what A-Team is all about. But the first thing I want to know is the housing market. I mean, a lot of people be getting some false information. I was wondering if you could set the record straight, not only nationally, but what, what is it most important here in, in our area? I'd be happy to. Uh, the, the national media presents this horrible picture of gloom and doom, and that, that's not true. In fact, recently Yahoo, Yahoo.com had an article ranking Kingsport as number four in the nation for home values. Folks have no idea about that, but we've been ranked in the top ten in so, so many things. Uh, our average days on market has dropped from four and a half to five weeks to about four and a half months. That's probably the only negative. We've had a great market. Our market is still strong. 
some of the economic parts and issues have hurt us a little bit, but overall our market is very steady and strong. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, when somebody's looking for a realtor, mm -hmm. uh, what are the things that they actually need to look, look for? First of all, what we found is the number one way to choose a realtor is to call a family or friend member. Uh, talk to them about who they've used, who they've liked, who they disliked, who they trust, don't trust, who they know. Those things will help tremendously because you want somebody that, that you can trust. It's a large investment to buy a home or, and to sell a home. So when you have somebody that you can trust and you can, can connect with, it makes it so much easier, so much better. But by calling a family and friend, you get that personal referral. They know who they've worked well with and they kind of can say, well, hey, you know, Mike Baird is good or, or, or someone with, with the A team. They can connect you there. They're great. They're pretty easily. Well, first time home buyers, I mean, that is an exceptionally scary thing uh, for individuals. And what would you recommend? Buying a home is overwhelming anytime, whether you're a first time buyer or a, or a, a repeat buyer. But uh, first time buyers need to find a realtor that they know and trust. Once they find that, that realtor can help them find a loan officer that they trust. And the next step would be to get uh, pre-approved. When they get pre-approved, that allows them to know what they can afford, how much they want to budget for payments and for the mortgage. And that, then that, that, that allows us as agents to go in and, and on our little search on the computer to find homes that fit those needs, what they want, bedrooms, bathrooms, price range, all, all, all those factors. And then the, fun, the, then the fun part comes in is going through the homes, looking at the homes. But finding a realtor, finding a loan officer, and getting, getting pre-approved, that's the top three things that they need to do. Well, you know, in this home that we're in, beautiful. You, know, you guys are representing this one and you know, getting it ready to be, to be sold. What are some of the things that you would have to recommend for actually getting the house ready to sell? That's kind of tricky because there are so many factors that go in, into selling a home. Homes like this one here at 308 Muddy Creek Court or 309 Ma Maple Ridge Drive, nothing. The sellers have the homes so perfect that they, they literally just walk out the door. Homes are ready to sell. Some we, we may say dust ceiling fans or get the, uh, get the dust out of the bathroom vents. Some we may even say let's uh, redo the flooring or paint some rooms. It varies from each home. But overall the best way to find out is to call your realtor have your, your agent walk through the house with you. That way you can walk through and they can say, well, try this or try that or fix this. And that gives a great example. Uh, a good example is recently I was called by, by a friend to put his home on the market. I, myself and two agents from our office w went to the home. We walked through, gave some, gave some ideas. An amazing home turned even stun. I mean, just more stunning. Uh, we gave a few tips. The home is now on the market. It should sell fa fairly quickly because of what they've done to it. And, but call your realtor, ask your realtor. That's very important. Mike, we have, uh, as part of the chamber, the Move to Kingsport uh, initiative and program, and just wanted to know, why are people moving to Kingsport? Kingsport has so many things that attract folks to here every day, whether it be lake, uh, skiing, the location to uh, all the cities, the main interstates, uh, so many things, but people love our area, the schools, the healthcare, the, uh, the activities, it just so many things I can't really name all those, but uh, well, I think one big thing is is the people here. Uh, we're so friendly, we're so down to earth. You know, another is low property tax, low property taxes. People think, oh, we're high, we're high, we're high. But when you compare paying fifteen hundred bucks per quarter in Florida as compared to fifteen hundred bucks a year here, mm -hmm. huge difference. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, th this home here at three hundred eight Muddy Creek Court, you're right on the lake. You have a pool. You have a hot tub. You can just look outside and be so relaxed in the fall. You see that you see the, all the colors of, of the trees. We have all four seasons. Uh, if these folks want to go snow skiing, they can drive to Boone or to West Virginia and go snow skiing, even in Gatlinburg. If they want to go see a, a pro ball game, they can go to Charlotte, Cincinnati, Nashville, Atlanta. You know, so many things, but you know, here at Muddy Creek, why would you want to go anywhere else? Just stand right here out, out on the lake and just, just, just enjoy life. Well, the next thing I need to ask is what, and this, you knew this was coming, is that what would actually set a team real estate apart from the other professionals that are out there, uh, realtors, that type of thing? I would say there are four things that go into making the a team stand, stand out. First is our, our team men, mentality. It's not just our, our name, it's our mentality. We have several folks that have taught school and or coached. So we, we really believe that a teamwork is a unified body of group that works together for a, for, a, for a common goal. And that's taking care of all of our clients. And as you uh, work with a team, you see all of us work, work, working together. You get every agent in our office working with you and for you. You get our secretary, our bookkeeper, our custodial staff, whoever's there works with you, our, our ad girls. Uh, 
whoever we have on our team helps you buy and, buy and sell a home. So that's number one. Number two would probably be how we advertise. We are out of the box. And uh, one example is if you look in the, in the homes books, you see every, everyone has a squares. We're in ovals. That stands out. So if you're, if you're, if you're selling a home, you're going, wow, that looks so good, so, so good. And it catches the eyes of, of all the buyers. And that allows us to be different, to be out of that box with that, that pun intended. Next is our, is our internet presence, uh, strong internet presence. I think about all of our agents have, a, have, a, have their own personal website mm -hmm. or sites. I know personally I have 12, 12 sites going into one domain. Uh, MikeBear.net. MikeBear.net, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Got to plug that, easy, right? Easy to remember, too. But we, uh, we have enhanced listings on Realtor.com. All of our homes have virtual tours. Uh, we stress internet presence. 85% of first time of home buyers start their search online. So we focus on those types of things. Uh, our professionalism. We stress being very professional, very uh, honest, and having integrity. And the fourth thing would be uh, our cus customer service. My, one, one of my first jobs was working fast food, like many people. But our owner we used, to, used to tell us in staff meetings, everybody up and down the road sells meat and potatoes. It's how you package it and how you serve it that gets people to keep coming back. So if we take care of our clients, we package up ourselves and our company in, in, a, in a professional, great way, they, they can come back to us. Well, how has the, the chamber, you being linked to the chamber, been able to help? You were one of our sponsors for uh, small business for our yes, fourth we Friday were. breakfast. And you've been very uh, instrumental in the community. And the, uh, as a matter of fact, you are a lead ambassador, um, yes. ambassador chair for yes. the Kingsport Chamber. I just wanted to know, how has the chamber been able to help you? And what do you find as a value for it? It's been phenomenal. Our joining with, with the Kingsport Chamber has been great. You get so many things. You get the, uh, the chamber directory, the online directory, the the new chamber website, uh, which is phenomenal. I mean, and in fact, we're actually working on ours to get a better spot on, on the website. We're talking now as a company, what can we do? How can we, how can we improve our part on the chamber website? Um, the, the events, the after hours, the fourth Friday breakfast, the coffees, anything that, that's, that's chamber organized, go to those things and become an active member. Like I've heard you say, Jeff, if you're a member of a gym, does you no good and, and lets you go and, and, and use it. The pounds aren't going to fall off. Right. I wish and, it would, but no. Yeah. So, so do I. <laughs> but uh, I tell you, just being involved helps out so much. All the, net, all the networking opportunities, meeting people, uh, getting to know folks, let them see the name. We in, and our, our company enjoys doing things. We have uh, folks who are involved with Move to Kingsport. We, we are a FunFest event sponsor for this year. Wait to see it. It's going to be phenomenal. Uh, uh, the ambassador program. We have so many people that want to do things in the community that we just filter right into it, and the chamber allows us that opportunity. Well, thank you. Mike Baird from 18 Real Estate, and now we will go to Stacy at Interim Healthcare. Thanks, Jeff. We're at Interim Healthcare today talking to some of the ladies about some of the services they offer. And if you'll notice, they are a member of the Kingsport Chamber of Commerce, so we're very excited to talk to them. Hi, we're here today talking to some of the ladies here at Interim Healthcare, and they are obviously um, very excited to be a part of the uh, Kingsport Chamber and being members, and they're going to tell us a little bit about that. But first, we also want to recognize that they were one of our Fourth Friday sponsors for the Small Business Month in May, and also they are one of the Cosby Small Business Contest Award winners, the Entrepreneurial Award last year. So congratulations on that. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Judy Potter Yates. She's here with Interim Healthcare, and she's going to tell us a little bit about their services and introduce some for staff. Well, first of all, I want to say how much we appreciate the Kingsport Chamber. Um, I was telling Stacy earlier about the number of people that we've made contact with, that we continue to do business with, and how important it's been with our growth in this area. But first of all, I'd like to just briefly tell you how we got started. We have two owners. They're two women that come out of Bulls Gap, um, Peggy Helton and Sandy Jarnigan. And they decided one day in Sandy's Den that they needed to start a home health agency. And they started doing mostly private duty for pediatric patients. Eventually they grew into a home health agency. And now today we have corporate headquarters in Morristown and we have our office here at Gray and we also have an office in Bulls Gap. Now one of the first people hired by the company was Miss Kim Noe here. <laughs> Kim is our director of private duty in our home style services. And Kim, would you give them just kind of an overview of what private duty and home style services, non-medical services are? Sure. The private duty services, under that division, we provide both skilled and non-skilled home care. 
The skilled home care consists of nurses providing care such as medication administration, breathing treatments, and management of feeding tubes, tracheostomies, and care to patients on ventilators. The non-skilled home care is mainly CNAs that can provide personal care, bathing, dressing, bathroom assistance. And then we have our home styles division, which is a division of strictly non-medical home care. We provide sitters, companions. Um, we also provide the personal care, the bathing, the dressing, assistance to the bathroom, but we can also do light housekeeping, laundry, meal preparation, and grocery shopping. Um, would you tell them maybe a little bit of the difference between an actual home health nurse and a private duty nurse? Yes, an actual home health nurse is in the home for a visit. A visit lasts anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. And typically it's one visit three to four times per week. In private duty, our nurses are in the home anywhere from four hours a day up to 24 hours per day. And this is Joanne Long. Um, she is our nurse supervisor here in the Gray office. And do we want to tell them some of the services we provide under our home health? Yes, we also um, provide uh, non-skilled and skilled nursing. And we also provide uh, PT, OT, and speech therapy for the, the patients. And this is Jennifer Matson. She's our director of education. And she's got a very big job because she not only keeps our nurses up to par but I'll let Jennifer tell you what she's been up to. Well part of my job duties are I kind of oversee the in-service education and training of the nursing and our nursing assistant staff and um, sometimes if the nurses have a concern about a certain new procedure I will look into getting that representative from the company or another healthcare professional to come in and provide in-service training for that. Um, also currently I am working on uh, the Premier Support Services Training and Education Center and we're going to offer some uh, CNA courses there, LP and IV certification, and then we have future plans for some other course offerings. Okay. Yes. Um, also I, I really should mention that we are licensed in 30 counties in East Tennessee. We go up to Bristol, over to Rogersville, over to Elizabethton, we go down to Cobb County, Newport, Jefferson City, Morristown. We're now up in Sevierville and we're on up through um, Tazewell, New Tazewell, and Harrogate also. So we cover a large area and we kind of say that we've got a cafeteria plan mm -hmm. so that um, we support you know um, all the surrounding areas we offer all these number of services and we feel that um, we have some of the best nurses anyone that we talk to um, the physicians that we market to say what a wonderful group of nurses we have and that's why we have grown so unbelievably in the past year but it is our nurses that are just fantastic very good. As you know, in downtown Kingsport right now, we've got the Higher Education Center going up. We're going to be producing a lot of, of healthcare um, people in the healthcare field. Is that something, if they're interested in just in contacting you about being employed by interim, is that something that they just contact you, and or is, do they need to go through a no, yeah. they can contact our offices directly. Also, we do, uh, we've had communication with Melissa Webb, the Director of Education for Nursing at ETS, at, um, sorry, Northeast State. Mm -hmm. um, and what we're doing is we've been given the opportunity for maybe some of those students to ride with us if they have an interest in home health also. Mm -hmm. So we have had that affiliation. And we're really proud of Dr. Carroll's business downtown also because Peggy actually knew him when he was very young and right. just starting out in business so we have a, a really good connection with this area very good now how how can you say that interim has has stood out above its competition or what gives you the leading edge as far as if someone comes to choose um, interim over another company well in our private duty we have so many excellent caregivers in our home health um, and I think it has a lot to do with the education that they receive mm -hmm. Um, we have excellent nurses, we have excellent staff, we are a family and everybody knows everybody, we get along really well. Um, if, if we have something we need to know or if there is a doctor that wants something other than what we currently provide, we will do that. We will get the training, we'll get the equipment, we'll do whatever we have to, to move ahead. And as I said, I cannot give enough credit to our nurses, right. they're fabulous. Right. Very good. Well, thank you all so much for your knowledge and your, your time with us today, and we appreciate you being part of the Kingsport Chamber. And
Thank you, Stacy. We have really appreciated our time with Kingsport good. Chamber, and as I said, um, we've built some really good relationships through the chamber. Very good. Thank you so much for having us here today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here at the Omar Canvas and Awning office with Ed Snowden, the owner, and he's going to tell us a little bit about some of the products they offer and how the Kingsport Chamber of Commerce membership uh, has made a difference in his business. Well, we've uh, been in business for uh, 23 years. Uh, we manufacture anything from commercial awnings to residential awnings. Uh, we do signs. Uh, we also got a lot of new things I'll show you when we go inside. But as far as the Keensport Chamber, they have increased our business in the Keensport area this year probably by 25%. Uh, I'd recommend to anybody that's in business, the Keensport Chamber is the ideal place. They're, they've got so much on the ball in Keensport, and they're, they do so much for each of their members. And that's uh, one thing we got involved is for what they do for you. They don't... Uh, they just like today coming out talking to us uh, they've been on the phone with us a number of times we go to their meetings and they always uh, letting you tell you about your products and it's just amazing that the uh, what they can do for a person in the business and uh, I mean it just I just can't say enough for what they've done for us and uh, and people I know that we've recommended going to them that's what they've done for them and as far as their business promoting their business they've got a lot of downtown things that's going on with the uh, their downtown people in keen sport uh, renovations and stuff and it's in the meantime we got to be recommended to a lot of their customers down there for uh, for awnings and it's helped facelift to their buildings downtown and mm -hmm. Kingsport just got it on. They got a good uh, city manager. Uh, I just can't say enough of what I, you know, for Kingsport. Well, thank you so much, Ed. And I also want to point out, too, that Omar has been one of the sponsors of your Fourth Friday Breakfast, um, Small Business Month, in May. And we appreciate your sponsorship there. And this is another way to partner with the Chamber. So we appreciate that. And we're going to go through the, the factory here and see how some of these things are made. Hi, we're here with Tim, the graphic artist for Omar, in the sign development area. And Tim, uh, we just want to learn a little bit more about how you actually put signs together. Uh, what's the turnaround time? And uh, how detailed can the signs actually get? Well, I get um, start off in the computer room and design it up, and then uh, it takes 24 hours from the time uh, a person comes in and puts an order in. To uh, we do also do like uh, awnings, uh, lettering on buildings, cars, uh, anything you might need. Plus, I can design up their own logo if they don't have one. I can design one up for them. Well, I noticed one that you're working at right here. It actually says men working in trees. Uh, so, I mean, really, you can work with any that people can actually think of, colors, fonts, that type of thing at all. And you were saying that you can actually put them on awnings, different yeah. signs, different lettering. I, I mean, can paint. I can um, paint on canvas. I can do, uh, on, like, if you have an awning that has canvas work, I can paint it with their lettering or logos. Well, how long have you been doing this? And, and I guess that uh, you've probably developed over time. Uh, when you first started doing this, uh, did you start out slow or did you actually develop over time based upon your customers' needs? Well, when I first started, it was um, a while ago, it was like working on boats. And um, then I came to Omar uh, about 10 years ago. And uh, now I do it on awnings instead of boats. I do all, all the work on awnings and any signage that anybody needs. So your, your customer base actually extends from, uh, I, I'm assuming the city or uh, government institutions all the way up to privately owned companies. Uh, what are some, actually some style of companies that you guys work with? Um, one is Bristol Motor Speedway, uh, Katie Moore um, Construction, Well, I know, I know exactly. I mean, you know, the, what, you're, what you're having to deal with, you're doing the specialty uh, for those organizations, Bristol Motor Speedway, with all the signage that they actually have. Yeah. Uh, but we really appreciate you talking to us today. I know that with o Omar, you guys have a, have a large amount of specialization that you do, but it gives you the flexibility uh, that customers need. So thank you, Tim, for speaking with us today. Thank you. Uh, we're now in the uh, sewing uh, shop. Uh, Stella over here, she's been with me. Uh, she's the, uh, our shop manager. And uh, what we do, we 
this is the area here is all uh, all of our awning fabric covers are made and uh, any other type of covers, uh, enclosures, uh, screen rooms, things of that sort. And from here it goes, you know, they pattern the framework and then uh, Stella lays it out, cuts it out, and then the girls uh, start sewing it and putting it together. We also have something here that most uh, shops don't have in this area is a heat sealer which uh, heat seals the vinyl together, which saves them having to sew it. And that way you don't have any uh, seams or anything for it to leakage. And we also keep a big variety of uh, stock in vinyls and canvas in stock, so we'll have it if, when a customer needs it so we can get the awnings out quick. And uh, they're now building some traditional frames. We, uh, we build any type of frame, any type of aluminum, handrails. As you can see, we keep plenty of stock in the shop area where we can always have you so we can get your awnings out within a, uh, just a few weeks. We try to have our turnaround time two to three weeks in the long summer months uh, and uh, winter time we can get them out for you in a couple of days. It's the materials I mean come with the 10-year warranty, eight-year warranty on the materials. Uh, we have the vinyl, we have a canvas. Um, that's about it. Now we are with the better half of Omar, Ms. Susie Snowden, and she's going to tell us a little bit too about what the Kingsport Chamber has meant to you. The Kingsport Chamber is has meant so much to our company. Um, we're just so pleased with what all they do there. Um, they've promoted our business. They've helped us um, in all aspects of our business. Um, in advertising and and just promotional uh, things that they have through the chamber, we love the uh, the staff there. They accommodate us whenever we need any help, and we're just real pleased. We just love you all. <laughs> well, now, what about the volunteers? Oh well, I we mean, love you too. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I'm getting a hug here. Yes, yes. But you guys have been a great part of the chamber as well. One of the things that we've referenced it is that you get what you put into it. And like I've said before, time and time again, the chamber is what you put into it. It's like joining a gym and expecting the pounds to fall off. You've got to be a part of it. And you guys yes. have been a fantastic part of us. Uh, you have been. Uh, most recently, you have worked with our fourth Friday breakfast, the small business breakfast, and we really appreciate it. But. Uh, it's been fantastic working with you guys, too. And we thank you, too. <laughs> we love you. Thank you, you for looking, letting us look at your home today. Okay. <laughs> thank you. I can't believe they take such great care in making signs and awnings. And I had no idea they could make them so quickly. So what else did we learn today? Well, we learned that anybody can join your Knoxville TVA credit union. And A-Team Real Estate has a house you wish you had. And Interim can provide all the private health care needs for your family. We want to thank our Kingsport Chamber members that were part of MemberLink today. And Stacy, what other benefits can a Kingsport Chamber member enjoy? Well, in addition to MemberLink and being showcased on the show, um, there's many opportunities for networking, such as the After Hours events and the Fourth Friday Breakfast. There's also opportunities to advertise on our weekly email that we send out to all of our members, as well as the new Kingsport Chamber website, kingsportchamber.org. There's also opportunities for low-cost and no-cost seminars and classes, and other opportunities for volunteer work. For more information, please visit memberlink.tv or call your Kingsport Chamber at 423-392-8800. For MemberLink, I'm Jeff Hostetler. And I'm Stacy Beverly. And we'll see you on the next edition of MemberLink. <laughs>